picture this, right? You have something that is eating you up and you decide that you want to share with someone. And the first thought that comes to your mind is to tell this person that don't tell another person then you shouldn't be telling this person in the first place because the fact that you think you have to remind this person not to tell another one means you don't trust them and if you do not trust them they shouldn't be your go-to person to say whatever it is that is eating you up if you know that it is something that you don't want to broadcast then there is no reason telling somebody and then telling them not to tell another person Hello ladies, hello gents. Thank you for being here today. My name is Mira Skender and you know that I do not take your presence here for granted. On today's video, we are going to be talking about the things that you need to shush so that you can live a better life. Number one, your relationship, especially if you are married. The details of your relationship. You have to keep the secret of your home, the sacrament of your matrimony. Nowadays, people are so short-tempered. They are so short fused that when something happens in their marriage, they don't only take it to person A, person B, person C, they take it and broadcast it on social media. It is very, very wrong for you not to be able to communicate with your spouse. You have to learn how to communicate between yourselves because if you do not communicate between yourselves and you think that is somebody out there that is going to solve the problem, then you have it all wrong. Because the reason why you get into marriage with someone is because you know and you trust this person that you both can work together for a common goal. You both are in a partnership. So in a partnership, say for example, you have a business and you have a partner. When you're in that business and things are going down or things are failing, you don't start telling the whole world that your business is crumbling. You sit down, you put your heads together and you figure it out. That's the same thing that you need to do with marriage because People don't understand the reason why we do have two ears and one mouth. We have two ears so we can listen more, one mouth so we can speak less. So that by the time you take the issues of your marriage and you're broadcasting to every Tom, Dick and Hardy, that is how you break your home. There are many people today who are not able to show themselves in public or who have taken down their social media accounts because of the way they've bashed their spouses on there. It doesn't matter what is going on in your home. It is very important that it is not something that is public. It is not something that is news. It is between you and this person and you will figure it out. I understand that there are times where you will need to talk to somebody. But before you speak to someone about the issues of your home, make sure that you have vetted that person. Make sure that it's someone that you know that you can speak to them and they can give you the necessary advice. But you cannot afford to speak about your home, about your marriage, about your love life to people that don't need to know, to people that are going to use it as a topic for discussion, to people that are going to use it against you. That is why there are informations that needs to be kept classified. There are information that are confidential or restricted. If you've ever worked in the corporate world, you understand that most companies, they classify data into four types. Number one, you have public data. This is data that is freely accessible to the public. It is accessible to every employee. It can be redistributed. It can be used without any repercussions. And the key word is without any repercussions. Public data, for example, when it comes to a person, is your name. Your name can be redistributed without any repercussions. Number two internal data this is the kind of data that is within the company it is only shared within the company and to employees that have access to that data so this kind of data if this data goes out to the public it could bring repercussions back to the company it could put the business at risk so they keep it internal internal data is data that is shared only among the members of your family it cannot go outside of your family because there is a high chance that as this information leaves the confines of your family, it could pose risks to the family. Then you have the third type, which is called confidential data. This data is on a need to know basis. This data cannot be shared among all employees. It is shared only to the employees that are needed to know because if you need to know this data, then therefore you have something to do with the data because if this data is shared among employees if this data is shared to the public it will pose a high business risk and no company want to share data that is confidential 
because they know the repercussions that is going to come back to them. This is data that you have to keep to yourself. Data that is on a need to know basis. This is the kind of data that you only tell someone that can help someone who needs to know. For example, your goals. Yes, you can share your goals with your spouse because you guys need to be in alignment, but your goals is not public information. It is confidential information. Then we have the fourth type of data that is called restricted data. This data is highly restricted. It is among the top, the top, the top. It's among the 1% or less than 1% of that company. This information is the kind of information that stays within you. It's a kind of information that before you utter it out to someone, know who you're speaking it to. You cannot live your life in a way that everybody has access to you or have access to the information that you carry or have access about your being. There are some things that you need to keep private. It's not everything that is public knowledge. So you have to live your life like a business. Live your life like a company that is successful because every successful company have this kind of data. So every successful person, every person, when we talk about success as a person, we're not only talking about financial success, we're talking about you as a whole, you as a being. Because you need to have peace of mind, you need to be happy. And in order for you to be happy, there's information about you that you need to keep. Now that we've broken this down, let's go to the second point. The second thing that you need to keep private are your intentions. Because your intentions are the seeds to your actions. When you keep your intentions private, it gives you the mental space to be able to nurture them without any interference or any judgment from others. Because there are times that you intend to do something and then you tell one, two, three, four people and they try to water it down. And most times people speak to you from their perceptions. People speak to you from their strengths. Say for example, you want to start a business, right? And then you decide to tell everyone about this plan that you have, about this intention that you have. There's a high possibility that you will not start that business because these people that you're going to talk to them about what you're trying to do will water it down. If they're not able to start a business or they do not see a reason why you should be starting the business, they are going to discourage you from starting that business. And when you're getting all these external voices, there is no way that you're going to be able to listen to the one voice that matters and that is your internal voice. It's your intuition that's going to guide you to the path you're trying to go to not every other person out there next point is other people's secret because someone trusts you enough to tell you the secret doesn't make you an informant if somebody tells you something that they are going through or something that they've done or something that they've been through it is your place to keep it to yourself you don't have to share it with everybody that you meet because this is not something that they wanted to share with everybody if it is something that they wanted to share with everybody they will make it known to every other person. The fact that they chose you, it means you have to keep it, respect them enough to keep it to yourself. The Bible tells us in Proverbs 21 verse 23, that whoever guards their mouth and their tongue keeps themselves out of calamity. Proverbs 10 19 also tells us that the more talk, the less truth, and the wise measure their words. So you have to really, really be careful about what comes out of your mouth. The fact that you can talk doesn't mean you have to speak. The tongue is a two-edged sword. It can either bless or it can curse. So decide to bless with your tongue rather than cursing with your tongue. Have you ever been in a situation where you have an idea and you decide to share it with people? Then that person that you share that idea with you see the person executing it or they tell another person and the person executes it before you. That is what happens when you share your ideas with people that don't need to know. Yes, there are some ideas that you will need to share and you only share with that one person that you know for a fact that is going to uplift you, that is going to motivate you or is going to help you bring it to fruition. Silence is golden. It is a friend that never betrays you. The next thing to keep private about is your present location. The ball is malicious. People always have something up their sleeves. They are always looking for ways to poke holes into people's lives, to make people miserable because hurt people hurt people. 
so you don't have to share your present location all the time except it is in a situation where maybe you're in a business and you have to share that business or you have to share something about the business or a conference that you're sharing about that is the only time that you can share your present location on the media if there is something that you want to post it can always wait when you're no longer in that location because when you keep updating people about where you are it is very easy for people to target you it is very easy for people to target your family so you're not only putting yourself at risk but you're putting your family at risk by sharing your present location all the time there are times that you have to keep your location to yourself and if there's something that you want to share you share it after the fact now i understand that there are many things that you need to keep private but there are times where you need to use wisdom you need to have discernment because there are some things in your life that you will need to talk about them with someone so you have to have that person that you trust enough to tell them these things that they can work with you if you don't have such person in your life then it is better for you to keep it to yourself but then as a person as a human be the kind of person who has somebody at their corner, somebody that they trust, somebody that they know that can die with them, not only ride with them. The reason why I say this is because if you do not share some of your accomplishments or maybe your doubts and your experiences, then you do not grow as a person. That's when discernment comes in. That's when wisdom comes in. So you have to be mindful about who and where you're sharing what. Parents, teachers, and coaches, they all use what they've experienced, what they've learned to teach other people and hold their hands to grow. So these are the kind of things that can be shared. And when you're sharing things with people, it should not be about you, it should not be about bragging, but about bringing awareness and bringing clarity to others to make them understand that if you can, they also can. If you're in an abusive relationship, you have to speak up. The fact that you have to keep your marriage as a sacrament doesn't mean that when you're abused, you don't speak because it's only when you speak up that you can get the help that you need. So much for watching today's video please do not forget to hit the subscription button also hit the notification bell that way you know when we do have new uploads share this video with a friend and make sure you watch this upcoming video talking about the money habits that are keeping you broke have a pipe one guys and stay blessed Mwah.